Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Admin, y'all already know. Right now we're about to continue this let's play called Bloodborne. Alright, let's jump right in. Forget all the spoilers you see on screen and all that. No problem whatsoever. So, today on this morning, I feel pretty good. Alright, ignore the fact that I haven't gotten sleep in three days, alright? <laughs> this is good. I'm playing some Bloodborne. Which means I'm confident enough the 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 what the hell? I didn't exit the what what lion ass fucking turd of a game. <laughs> All right, so uh, not a good start. All right, last time this happened, I lost all my data, so I hope nothing crazy happens right now. And we're gonna play online, sure, why not? Cause last time I think we played online. Uh, so here's the thing, I'm gonna apologize because of the way that everything. Uh, it's going to be from episode 3 and 4. Um, I don't think I have uploaded episode 5 or recorded it, but if, if not, this is episode 5. And so the problem is that there was a lot of audio issues, a lot of um, video issues. There is nothing I can do about that. That is literally on the laptop itself if it wants to handle that. If anyone is a Windows 10 expert, Y'all could tell me how this goes because I literally have no idea. So um, I'm working on it. I may have to do like a whole <laughs> complete factory reset, which means I may not even be able to upload that Skyward Sword video because I'm still trying to like fix it. It's actually proving to be a lot more than I thought. Okay, so where were we at in the game? I don't even remember, guys. Um, let's see. Let's see. So we're back. We're playing some, some uh, you know, some Skyward Sword, <laughs> psych. Let's see, gotta remember how to play this game. Oh right, we okay. So here's what I wanted to do. That's absolutely correct. So she's very easy to miss. Like I missed her like on two playthroughs. I didn't know she was in here, but uh, one time I just came across her. And I <gasps> I didn't I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. There's nothing to say there. That was pretty fucking pathetic. Uh, <laughs> I never never in the history of me playing has that ever happened to me. <laughs> I've never been ambushed by that guy. I never even knew he could come out there. Holy shit, that actually almost scared me to death. First of all, let me collect my souls. Um I'm gonna about to body this guy. It, it, if he ruins... I, okay, hold on. I gotta remember how to play. L2. There you go. That, 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 look, that's it. That's all I have to do. Sorry, it's been a while. I haven't played Bloodborne in like a good couple weeks. Alright, see? That's easy, right? Shit, man. Alright, come on now. Get it together, son of a bitch. Alright. So, I uh, hope that doesn't mess up the, the, the whole conversation I had with her, like, or the potential, you know, side quest or anything. I hope it doesn't... Mess that up. Perfect time. Okay, good shit. I must warn you not to go near the tomb below Urban Chapel in the Cathedral Ward. Oh yeah? Henry, an old hunter, has gone mad. Oh yeah? And he's my mark. He's your mark. Okay. So she gives you the shh. <laughs> so the shh is uh, actually pretty cool because you can just shh make it as you shh. <laughs> anyway, so I heard you like to sh <laughs> Wait, no, I didn't mean to. Oh god, what did I have here before? Point forward? Point forward, right? Um, let me put the sh or test it out. So do that, that whole like chic thing. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Crap. God, it's really been a while. I'm sorry, guys. I, I sucks. So basically, um, if you try to go to Odin Chapel using the uh, this thing right here, the, the the lamp, if you go to Hunter's Dream and you appear to go over there, 
you won't be able to because it'll be like locked by some device or something like that. So what you have to do instead is you have to go around. Actually, you can come in from here to Odin Chapel or you can go the other way. Like you can go in from like when you go to fight Father Gascoigne in the first place. You know how you can enter from the other side where the sewers were at? So instead of doing that, we can come this way. And the reason why it's a benefit to doing it this way... Whoa, what the, did I just see that again? Wait a minute, hold on a minute. I saw that again. I saw the... the yeah, there it is. There's the, there's the... Oh my god, that is so freaky, dude. Why does it do that? <laughs> um, but basically, if we come in through this way, we have actually a better chance of getting an ambush on the guy because... Uh, it will be somewhere down here, and uh, I don't know, like, I've never done it this way, this ambush, but I'm pretty sure that this girl's mark is somewhere over here, and you see a lot of blood in this area, so you know there's some kind of battle that went on here. It's pretty crazy. Um, let me see if I can get my binoculars out here and start looking around. So I think there should be a hunter somewhere. There he is. He's right there. So this is Henrik. He's literally hiding right there. I have no idea where Eileen is at, um, but she's supposedly she's supposed to be hiding over here. And I think the way that you're supposed to um, get her to come out is you fight Henrik for a little bit. But this guy is actually kind of tough, so you don't want to make too much noise as you encounter, or at least it's before you walk up on him or creep up on him. You kind of want to. Oh God, I scared the hell out of me. Kind of want to like take your time and. Try to get behind him if you can. Oh, God. This is not going to work out, is it? Oh, God. Please. Have mercy on my soul. All right. Good, good stuff. All right. So, we got it off. So, the story behind this hunter is that... Oh, God. That's my alarm. That's that's not the best time for my alarm. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, that's a 9.30 alarm. So, so Eileen will... Shoot, how do you run? Eileen will come in and try to fight this guy. So, you don't want to hit Eileen too much. Otherwise, it becomes an issue. So, you kind of want to team up with her and uh, take care of this guy. And uh, she can actually get a visceral attack on him, I think. So that's definitely what you want. All right, all right. This, this is looking good. Nice. Good stuff. So she can actually aggro to you if you hit her enough times. She could also die during this cutscene or, like, during this fight. And uh, if she does die during this fight, this would be bad because then... Uh, you wouldn't be able to have, to have access to a future part of the quest. So, um, good thing that we actually did complete it properly, so we can talk to her now. She can hear by her voice, she's, uh, that wasn't necessary, she's quite stirred up. <laughs> you have my thanks. We made it with our lives. You're not bad at all. You must have killed Gon as well, then. <laughs> Well, yes, I did actually. <laughs> I'm sure it had to be done. But try to keep your hands clean. A hunter should hunt beasts. So, oh my god. Awesome. She's she's got a freaking awesome blade. <laughs> Don't chuckle like that's pretty creepy. Anyway, we got the approval. So she keeps giving us good stuff. Look at this. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Just clap around, move around while clapping. Um, so yeah, she, uh, her story, at least from what I understand, I haven't done too much research on the characters, but her story is that she is actually a hunter of hunters. And, uh, if you do her side quest enough, you can actually join a covenant, which is called Hunter of Hunters. And I guess she has a very large disdain for hunters. Uh, if you do fight her during the first fight, I think, or the second time you encounter her, if you die to her, she'll mention the little doll that was in Hunter's Dream. So it seems to imply that she is familiar with Hunter's Dream. Uh, more on that later, though. Uh, so, Fadigas Coin and Henrik, the hunter that we just uh, defeated. So that hunter, Henrik, I think the story goes that he was friends with Father Gascoin, And because he was devoted to his friend, and his friend, you know, 
someone killed him, he sought revenge on whoever it was that did it and drove him mad. Uh, and you come here to exterminate him. I don't really know um, what Eileen's aim is at the end of the day, to be honest with you, because I know if she's going after hunters of all kinds, or I'm not sure if she's doing that or going after hunters that are mad. But either way, she seems to be going after them, and uh, it can be uh, quite a pain to, to put all the pieces together in this game. I mean, trust me, I, I tried and failed on some occasions, but... Nah, nah, enough of that. Okay, the senses, the juices are flowing, guys. It's starting to come back to me. It's starting to come back to me. I was playing like a freaking Nubasaurus, um, but now, now I have returned. All right, here we go. All we gotta do in this game is just shoot people. That, that's really it. It's, that's all it is, baby. Just like how in Dark Souls One, you just hold up your shield and walk around the enemy. In this game, you just kind of wait for them to pick up their arm and then you shoot them. Really, really easy. Anyway, so let's continue. I don't quite remember where we were in the story because uh, I'm quite an idiot. So the way you're supposed to go is that way, but that way leads to a lot of freaking deadly places. It's very easy to die there. And um, we're going to go a different way. I, I don't know if I've already unlocked the, uh, the paths. Uh, but, oh, I, I must have because here I am up here. So, did I fight Vicar Amelia? I'm not sure. Regardless, we're gonna we're gonna come up here, and uh, we're gonna fight two. Oh God, yeah, these guys with the crucifix, or whatever this is, the stakes. Yeah, not not pleasant to fight. Also, look at this very 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 beautiful evening. Uh, what do you call it? It's a primrose uh, twilight or whatever. So um. The reason we're coming this way and not fighting the boss is that there's a boss over there. I'm not, I'm not sure if I even described it very well, but there's a boss in that region. And we're going to not fight the boss instead. We're going to take care of these hunters that are somewhere. Oh, oh, oh. What? Am I like just weak? Yo, I am mad weak. So what we're going to do is just fight these hunters that are here. And uh, before we do that, we're going to kill this. I don't even really know what to call these. Scattering bugs? Little critters? I'm not sure, but there's there's a dude right here who wants who wants a piece of that soul. Alright. Whatever, you know what? I'm just gonna kinda go ham on them. Okay, these trees are kinda like starting to piss me off. Oh, by the way, I got a new controller. I don't even have to, like, do this anymore. I can actually walk up and down and stuff like that. So, pretty good, huh? Perhaps the one redeeming factor of this weapon that I have on, uh, I, I do want to, like, get a better one over time. But the one redeeming factor of this weapon is that it is very quick. It's a, it's a very fast weapon you can counter pretty effectively with it. Okay, okay. Alright, another visceral type? Not even bad. Alright, so we take care of this guy. This guy is very, very easy to, to deal with. The hard one to deal with is the dude back there because he has essentially the... Uh, <laughs> How do you call it? The scatter spread shot or whatever from Contra, and you'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. Um, if I wanted to, I could get a quick sneak attack on him. Uh, and there is a kind of an easy way to cheese this fight if you just keep running up through here, drop through the bottom, and get a sneak attack on him. You can just essentially repeat this over and over again and just tease him. But like I said, it's very, very simple to die against this guy. If, if any of his bullets hit you at close range, you're just gonna die. It's like just that simple. And even on like New Game Plus and stuff like that, I've like been high level and this guy has just destroyed me. But like 40 endurance or something like that. He's just insane. Also, sneak attacking him here is a little bit of a pain because even if you hit him here, see how there's the, a depression in the elevation there? That causes you to not be able to even do a visceral attack sometimes or a back attack because of the way that it's angled, you know? So. Um, I didn't demonstrate. Okay. Yeah, okay. So, Mr. Contra wants to fight right now. 
So he's just going to shoot his bullets uh, every few seconds. I don't want to fight him over there because there's a lot of obstacles in the way. I'd rather him come over here because it's actually much easier for me to fight him in this direction. Shoot, I got so close. So you don't want to make the mistake of pushing a button in the middle of like him shooting you because he can still get a visceral attack on you. Like he's never actually hit me with it, but he can do it. He actually can get a visceral on you. So. Jesus Christ. I, I'm waiting for him to like... Yeah, there we go. Alright. Well, I'm gonna run out of uh, essentials pretty soon here. The thing is, it's hard to get him to attack. He just shoots mainly. If you're in a certain range, then he'll start attacking and stuff like that. And it's also very hard to see because it's like... Like uh, the glare on the TV from the actual like window. Okay, yeah, this is bad. Oh, he's an idiot. He could have killed me right there. Yo, let me at least do this in peace, my, my, my mans. The reason I'm afraid to attack is because I can die. Like, I can just go in right now and hit him, man. But, look, look, look. See, I, it, might, it might make the wrong approach mistake. And I can't blink. Every time I blink, this dude shoots me. All right, he's about to shoot. Oh, no, he's about to attack. Right. Stop backing up, you little pussy. <laughs> look, look, he caught me on my fucking toe. I don't have many like heals left. Fucking idiot. Yo, come on, man. Look, look where he's going. Yo, that doesn't stun him. Come on, man. Alright, hold on. Let's see if this even works. Alright, I'd rather not do this now. Ooh. What? Oh! <laughs> no! No! He like me. Fuck! Was that even English? What was even that? You know what? I don't need to do this right now. <laughs> Screw this! I don't even need to waste my time with this. These little fucking chicklets. No, oh, I'm out of here, bro. Watch me die like something else, though. I mean, as long as he doesn't follow me, is he following me? I, like I said, it's hard to see because of the glare. There's like a glare from the, um, I have light curtains, so like the light still comes through. Um, I need to get thicker ones, uh, so that this doesn't become a problem like fucking like 9.30 anymore. <gasps> Keep thinking, I don't have to die. Is this guy coming over here? Yo, my, yo, yo, my mans. My mans, do, do y'all like just want to die? Y'all want to get scooped? Y'all want to get cooked up? You want to cook them up for dinner? Anyone want for tennis? <laughs> did I fight the Vicar? I don't think I did. Um, I don't have the resources to fight her, to be honest with you. I mean, I can try once and uh, we can get wrecked. Wait, actually, it depends, depends. What level are we? We're level 26. We're going to get destroyed. Uh, so the best time to fight the Vicar is about... Level 30 minimum, 35-ish is what I think people would recommend normally to fight her because she's just, it's just the way it works. The stats in this game work like that. You are better off having higher stats. Uh, like you, you are actually like just stronger when your levels are higher. That's kind of what I meant to say. Um, I don't know really how to... Whoa, I got mad. Oh, yo, I am all of a sudden much better off at uh, fighting Vicar. I still think I might die because, like, you know, the amount of damage she does if I mess up once. But now I can go ahead and, uh, you know, kind of revenge this, this dude over here. And hopefully do it right. You know, I can cheese him. I can fight him normally. But if I fight him normally, I'll just waste resources. You feel me? So if I just kind of cheese this guy, uh, he's just going to die. 
and I don't want to die because that's a waste of my time. And now that I have a working up button that's not going to run randomly or sporadically and I can just walk normally. Mm. Yeah, so I really dislike that this has this problem. Alright. My mans. If you want to like keep shooting, that that's your business. But yo, knock it the fuck off, huh? Good lord, man, this guy, man, this is, who we think this is, the Wild Wild West? Bro, we ain't in the Wild Wild West. This ain't no California Gold Rush. This ain't no Westward Expansion. This ain't no go, go, go. What? Yo, my, my mans, did you actually want to do this, though? Hey, yo, my mans, what is up with you? Hey, yo, hey, yo, my mans, hold on a minute. Hey, yo, my mans, yo, you, 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 you've come, you come a long way from home, cowboy. This is this 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 is my world, baby. Oh, he about to he about to kill me. Hmm, get get chopped up, my man. Okay, that's not good. I'm, I'm about to get cornered. Hey, yo, my man. Come on, come over here for a minute. Yo, what's up, homie? All these trees and obstructions, bro. Oh. Nice job. Fuck face. What? What kind, what kind of horse shit is that? Right? You seen that shit? Come, come up here, my mans. Come up here, my mans. Yo, you won't. No nuts. Yo, where you, where you retreating to, though? Come here, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, oh, you, oh, you done. You done. You done. You done. You done. You done. Okay, I'm done. So. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I I I ain't got no more vials. Yo, I'm outy. I'm outy 5k though. <laughs> I was about to check my inventory. Yo, time out. Don't be. Yo, what is this? There's a new meaning to backstab, right? Back shoot. Yo, you you will not. I dare you to cross it. You won't, you little pussy ass man. Come on, get the fuck over here, man. Get the fuck you up. Yo, come, come here, though. Yo, where you going? Yeah, yo, my man, come here, though. Oh, yo, he, he thought he was about to... Oh, you thought you was Clevs? No, no, no. No, 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 no. Fuck! Oh! Ooh! 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 Ooh, I could taste the, the fucking... Fear on this gun. Oh, I could taste it, man. Ooh, yo, my, my my boy, you got so lucky. I didn't fry your ass right there. You know, if I had one more vial, your ass was toast, though. You know what I'm saying? Like these, what these people can't understand is that I'm doing them a favor. I don't gotta go fight you. I could cheese you, but you know what, my man? You know, once this freaking trash dispenser, whatever the hell this thing is, this this thing that's Washing the streets, I guess. Once that thing is out of here, out of my life. Is that not open? Yo, why is that not open? Oh, whoa. Yo, all, thing, all manner of things trying to kill me right now. Goodness, man. Hold on. Let me, let, let me, let me open that door because apparently I did more of this game than I remember. At least more of this little section. Uh, so in part four of this, I apparently went through this part and... Unlock the main area or whatever. I'm not, I'm not even sure. Like, I don't remember doing this, to be honest. But I think I, I think I do, actually, because I was pressed for time. Because that's why these items aren't around. I was like, where are the items at? So I must have came through here. Must have killed these, these, these little... 
these little fuck faces. Um, and uh, last thing I must have done was not unlock. Okay, so I don't unlock it. Okay, that's fine. So here's 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 what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use an insight to summon this man's. There's a there's a dude that comes out here, like a dude or a chick or something. But this person comes out, tries to help us out. Old Hunter Bell resonates with another, so we can use this to fight the boss. But what we're gonna do is actually go and fight that. So Henriette. So uh, Henriette has a chance of dying because of stupidity, because Henriette just likes to fight things. So the only thing that I can do to stop Henriette from getting killed is to keep running and point. This is all I can do. Because Henry just stays in fights. All I can do is point. Like, if I point... Henry, can you please? We're about to get cooked. Come on. Come on, Henry. Let's go this way. See, see how this guy's doing? He's, he's pointing. He's pointing. Henry, you, you about to let me die right here? Henry, are you, are you are you really that stupid? Are you Henriette? Are you Henriette? Are you Henriette? Yo, are you are you an idiot? You, you, you are a, you deserve that. You're an idiot. You you wasted my my insight. <laughs> Legit. What a freaking moron. Do you see did you see her getting raped? <laughs> Man, <laughs> this looks like the Middle East out here. Uh oh. Hold on, man. Hold on, man. Round two or five with this, this fucking Virgo. Alright, so we gotta get like directly behind. And we charge another one. Hmm. How many times are you gonna fucking do that? So, like, the pattern is very simple. You just hit him once, he dodges, he shoots, and then does it all over again. Oops. I like to hide here because then he doesn't kinda. He just does nothing here. Oops, I ran out of stamina. What the f Really? Uh, wow, I just like pass right through? Very, very, very easy fight. Uh, once you know the mechanics of it. Well, that kind of sucked. All right, so I'm a little quiet. I'm just trying to like to not blink, because uh, when I do blink, I get like fucking shot, or shit like this happens. Spam! I'm cool with that. Yikes. That does so much damage. It's kind of ridiculous. Shit. Oh, that's fine. Every time bling. Every single time bling. Hmm. 
hate this TV guy, dude. Damn, chip me? Oh, here, just in case. Oh, nice shot, Buckaloo. Where are you going? You trying to heal the motherfucker? You're done for, son. Die with a little dignity. Motherfucker. Alright. We did it, boys. That took so long. I may even have to fast forward that because it just takes fucking forever. So now the thing about it is, is that we can now um, go ahead and craft these armors. So we can go ahead and just, uh, you know, dress like these guys. In fact, I should... Whoa, 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 whoa. I can get something very important here. My my souls. What the... No, 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 no. no. Calm it down, bitch-ass nigga. All right, so... I need, I, need, I need to go get my soul. What the fuck? I think it's a jump button. <laughs> I always forget that. Right. So my souls are somewhere over here. I just hope this guy doesn't have it. The uh, the imbecilis up there. Um, God, where did I die last time? Oh, I remember where I died actually. I passed through that area. I died up here. Yeah, I, I'm I'm pretty stoops, guys. I have some terrible memory. So uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna go grab these souls, go ahead and level up a little bit, and then maybe go fight the Vicar. I think I died somewhere like over here. -ish? Yeah. I know. That right in this little, this little corner right there. Oh man, that was some, that was some good joints right there. That was some good joints, some good joints, yo, some good joints. So, let's go ahead and get silver. Okay, well I kind of don't want to pass through all of that bullshit. So this is what I do. Use one of these, <laughs> you know, just get one of these, <laughs> and then uh, you can reawaken back over here in the in the hunter's place. Well, not necessarily a hunter's place, but you reawaken at the lamp and you can use it to get to the hunter's place so pretty useful item Jackie anyway let's go ahead go back. about to go rank up a little bit so thing is I have these new this new setup for the, the microphone I, um, false but also true it's not really about the microphone it's about me learning how to handle the audio files properly and uh, yes, Very well. yes, I'm gonna level up real quick. I don't know how many levels I have available, but I think it looks like quite a bit, huh? Do vitality, I like to do four levels. Okay, so we'll do one vitality and like <laughs> this many skills. Yeah. Let's go for it. So, yeah, that, trust me, it, it seems like a waste right now, and it kind of is to have all the skill, no strength, and all that stuff, but. Trust me, right now, this is all, no, 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 that's all we want to do at the moment, we just want to, we can get by without stuff, we have strats, man, we got strategies, we don't need to, we don't care about this, anyway, let's go ahead and uh, buy the gear that we so earnestly need, so we got all of the Henrik stuff, which is the, uh, the hunter we just destroyed, oh wow, I just lost some health in this area, Lol, I'm glad I got to show that off because uh, some people were saying that you cannot take fall damage from that height and I just proved that you did. Ah, JTN. God damn it. <laughs> I didn't want to do that. Uh, so basically, we changed into Henrik's Hunter gear. I want to go over the item description a little bit and just uh, put them on. Uh, how do I... Square? Yeah. So yeah, Hunter's hat worn by Henrik the Old Hunter. The taciturn old hunter Henrik was once partners with Father Gascoigne, and though they were, uh, how do I, <clears throat> hold on, I got, I got, I got, I got to get to the, the old, old hunter's voice or old Shakespearean style. <clears throat> and though they were a fierce and gallant, uh, oh sorry, and though they were a fierce and gallant duo, their partnership led to Henrik's tragically long life. 
Henrik's unique yellow garb is resistant to bolt and will be of great help to any hunter who has interfered. Sorry, <laughs> I can't read. Who has inherited the onus of the hunt. Let's see here. Oh, they all say the same thing. Okay. All right, we might as well read the Saw Spirit. One of the trick weapons of the uh, workshop, commonly used by those who dedicate themselves to the hunt. Their saw effectively drawing the blood of beasts transforms into a medium range spear. The saw with a set of bloodletting teeth has become a symbol of the hunt and only grows in effectiveness the more grotesquely transform the beast. Okay, I'm not very good at doing voice over reading. Shut the fuck up, your phone. Don't, don't even don't even try this with me right now, but yeah, I, I, I like being a little theatrical sometimes, even if it makes no fucking sense. Alright, so let's go back to the Cathedral Ward. Let's attempt this again of summoning the old hunt. Oh no, I don't even have any um I don't have any uh <laughs> I ain't got nothing. I ain't got, I ain't got no insight. <laughs> So, I didn't actually explain insight that well last time. I'm going to attempt it again, because I'm pretty bad at these explanations from the apparent things. That, you know, well, apparently, right? So, insight. Um, without using any kind of, like, stupid anecdotal things or anything like uh, some kind of comparison or any analogies. Uh, so, in this game, uh, imagine that you just, like, you're in this world and you don't really have like a third eye like a proverbial third eye right so you're not your eyes are not yet to to uh, awaken this uh, a line they say later in the game so all it means is that like you don't you can't see shit like you really don't see anything spiritual that's going on anything that uh otherwise people would say other, uh, is otherworldly oh by the way that's the wooden shield that you get in the game it's uh very very bad but like anything otherworldly you do not have access to oh Okay, this is so bad. This is so bad. Like, they, they, this has to stop, man. Alright. Hey, yo, Henriette. Anytime you want to, you know, jump in and start shooting this man. There we go. So, okay. So, when you summon... When you summon people in this world... Uh, you... There's an old sinister ringing bell woman. And, uh, that woman is, uh... I usually know all I know older spots actually in all the places. So she would be in this stage over here in this area. So just give her a nice little, you know, quack a dack back and pack. And uh, you know, that's it, man. Dead. Dead boys. Um so yeah, the, the bell ringing woman has ceased to ring her bell or has rung it for the very last time. Ah, poetic justice. Uh, but anyway, as as I was describing earlier, what are you guys doing here? So, as I was describing earlier, um, the thing about the, like, uh, proverbial third eye is that, like, you know, um, you can't really, like, see anything going on otherworldly unless you have insight. So, insight is kind of like this weird outlet into being able to see spiritual, um, uh, mediums, or, or, like, actually, no, you are the, the, the insight is the spiritual medium behind any otherworldly sighting. So, like, if we wanted to put into perspective in our world, like, people that sight... Like, uh, aliens, Bigfoot, Loch Ness Monster, that kind of shit would, like, probably fall into, like, insight category. Because anyone that can see ghosts and talk to spirits and all that would are people generally that have high insight, you know. So they are able to be more in commune with these spirits and all that kind of good jazz and all that. Uh, but if you don't have insight, you don't have to worry about that because you're basically normal like everyone else. Uh, so, yeah, that's kind of how it works here. Yeah, I am not good at hitting this thing, like, in this, in the stairs. It's possible, I just, I'm not really good at it. Alright, so, Henry, Henrietta, I'm gonna, I know the name's Henriette, but I like to think of her as Henrietta. So, I'm gonna ask you to come up here, and I swear I'm pointing to the direction that you need to be heading. In. So, if you don't come out here, yeah, I'm gonna just leave you to die. You are a moron! Do you understand that? Do you understand how bad you have to be to be a moron? Who we'll just do that? Oh, Henriette. Okay. So, you need to, like, heal yourself. Actually, let's find out once and for all what gender you is. Like, because I just assumed her gender. You are definitely a chick. And I don't, I don't want to hear the end. I, I, I'm here. That's it. That's it. It's a chick concluded. Let's move on. Henrietta it is. Your name's not Henrietta. It's Henrietta. You know, but I don't know. Henriette might be one of those, like, you know, like, non-unisex names. I don't even know, man. I, I don't know. But uh, whatever. So I'm gonna come over here, and there's a 
Thank you for lighting the way, by the way, because I need that light. There's a really cool piece of uh, dialogue that's here you can inspect. It says here, Heir to the Ritual of Blood, Purveyor of Administration. Place your hand on the altar's sacred covering and describe Master Lawrence's adage upon your flesh. So, um, all these words are still cryptic for now, but they will make sense later once I put them all together. That might require you to come back to watch these videos, you know, <laughs> Uh, to see these moments, I'm not sure, but I will try to explain them all. But basically, that administration of blood. So let's go with this. The healing church is w what this is, and this healing church is actually what is responsible for administering the blood, the sacred blood that is supposed to cure people. So that's that is uh, what we call administration of blood. And there's someone that's uh, literally kneeling and praying to that altar that they were talking about. So it says something about inscribing this Lawrence's adage upon thine flesh. So who is this Lawrence and what is this adage that is so important that we must inscribe it? So Lawrence is one of the three most important names in this entire game. So you better remember him well. There are three names. There's uh, Master Lawrence. There is, um, you know, Master Willem. And I... I think the last one that I want to at least recommend would be, um, uh, what was his name? Uh, you know, I, I actually forget his name. We'll get to it. It's been a while. I had all this shit planned out when I was doing Let's Play and all things happened. Yo, basically, um, excuses, excuses. But if you hear her prayer, um, I can't hear right now because I don't have any headphones on. Uh, but she is praying. She's saying very important words. Um, there's a bit of speculation for who this person really is in a certain uh, DLC. I I'll have to explain that later. I don't quite believe it because there's not enough evidence. I'll go into it later, but basically, we're gonna we're gonna fight a boss. All right, so let's get ourselves fucking prepared. All right, let's do this shit. But my my, that is a very beautiful altar, man. I love that when um, models in games like just kind of like are, uh, I don't know what it is, what it's called, but they're like placed right in the same area where they spawn and like their clothes kind of like <laughs> go nuts because of that. Oh, yikes. Oh, yikes. Oh, yikes. Oh, hoo -hoo. uh, little lady. Oh shit! Oh, those are some, those are some those are not some good hand job hands. I'll tell you what, nah, man. Uh, do not want actually. Yikes, bro! So she has antlers now, <laughs> and it looks really really scary. It looks like something out of Killer Instinct, to be honest. So this is Vicar Amelia. So get the fuck in here. Um, so there's a couple things you have to talk about about Vicar. So the Vicar is a uh, if you hit her in the in her limbs, she actually you can like get her to drop certain, uh, you know, like like if you hit her left hand or whatever, she drops her um, guard or whatever, and you smack her other limbs, and you can actually get a chance to yeah like, like something like that. And then if you hit her other limbs or something, like that, you can get her to drop her guard, and then you can kind of uh, eviscerate it. So it's pretty good. This is not looking good, though. So, let me see. Okay, that was that was bad. That was, that was a bad dodge by me, but luckily... So, I, I'm a little rusty. I'm a bit rusty. I'm sorry about that, guys. Uh, but well, I'm trying my best. So, I think you're supposed to hit on her face or something, or like hit her limbs. At this stage, I don't quite remember. I, I know you're supposed to hit her somewhere. Also, if you throw a numbing mist at her, then you can uh, prevent her from healing because she does heal later in the, in the actual in the actual uh, match. She does actually heal. Let me see if I can uh, equip that. I'll keep. I'll, I'll have it at the ready in case she gets to like half health and whatever. Alright, so. 
Oh, well, I'm down on health. Allow me to fix that. Allow me to remedy that situation. Okay, that's not good. Damn, son. There we go. Got the this one. You can actually like sneak in another hit in there too before you actually this one. Which is pretty good. Um later on she starts doing like yo Henry, I I'm I'm gonna need you to stop getting hit here. And you die, because you're an idiot. So now I'm by myself fighting him. This is the move I was talking about. So, okay. We're just gonna have to fight our famous girl now. So that's a grab. You don't want to get grabbed by that. Alright, so I have to be careful. She's gonna jump. Just dodge that shit at the right time. If you just like delay your oh, cool. shit, I screwed it up. I thought I could get a quick ass hit in there, but I fucked it up. Oh, that's a that's a move I don't see that often. Yeah, so if she tries to do some some stupid shit like that, you just kind of interrupt her. From doing that, and uh, yeah, she's just. Pretty, pretty easy. Okay, that's not good. Oh! Okay, that, that was kind of scary. No, I know I dodged that. Hello! Like, hello to you too, motherfucker. Now she starts to go a little a little crazy. I ain't gonna lie, she's going a little ham on me. Knock it the fuck off. I got uh, about two more of these left. I'm a, I'm a little afraid to go in there. That, that, that is a little stupid. So that's a grab. So free hit. Dude, back the fuck up, Amelia. What's wrong with you? I can't knock it over. What? I thought I dodged. This is not. Oh, forgot about that move. Okay, well that's not good. Um, not good at all. All right. So one thing we could do is up our level a little bit more because we're not doing any damage. One, oh well, we could have upped our strength to do more damage. This is a uh, use. The, so the thing about this uh, particular build is that it's gonna be tough. Handling certain bosses because we don't have the necessary traits to deal damage to them. So we're just going to have to tough it out for the beginning because the beginning fights are actually the hardest parts of this. Um, yeah, so one other thing we could do is try to get a few more levels here. Um, I instead would like to show off the next area before I go back to Vicar Amelia. Uh, because we can get some extra levels there. So... If I do that, then we're all square, really. So I'm just gonna show off the new area, and I'm gonna set that. Oh, yo, you were some sneaky motherfucks. Forgot this man's was here. Yo, whose man's is this? Whose man's is this, though? Like, really? Really, my man's? <laughs> Dead already? <laughs> I just love their uh, death physics. They're so funny. That item might be bothering you if you're a little OCD, but we'll, we'll, we'll get it soon. Don't worry about that. We'll, we'll get it uh, in the near future. After we beat the Vicar, we'll be headed to a special forest. Holy moly, that guy's axe is humongo. Um, so yeah, but anyway, this area over here, I must have 
at least showing off the initial factors. No, I haven't even gone here. But I probably already pointed to it. I'm not even sure. Ew, bloodshot eyeball. But, um, yeah, this area leads to the Hem Hemwick Charnel Lane, or Charnel Lane. I don't really know how to say it, but it's a special little sector of this game that, uh, deals with, uh, a certain witch. Um, I'm gonna have to revise a lot of the, uh, content of the game because I really forget a lot of it. Um, anyway, I'm very bad at, uh, doing this area because there's some dudes that are over here that like to shoot at you for no fucking good reason other than to be goddamn assholes there's also like things like to spawn in this area so I'm just not gonna bother with them I'm surprised they're not spawning yet I think they spawn after you beat the Vi that's right you have to beat the Vicar first in order for them to spawn oh, that's not cool just zigzag them they can make another catch me. Alright. Even if they kill me here, I've opened the door. I've opened the door at least, so... If they want to come fight me... They... Yo, you, you, we can fight! Yo, time out. We can fight, alright? Yo, why aren't y'all dropping your good shit? Is it after the Vicar? Like, so, something happens until you beat the Vicar because, uh... The day literally changes. It is it is a literal shift in the in in, in the actual like uh, um, time of the of the story. Like the story actually does progress a bit. Dude, where's the man's at? Where's his dog go? Well, whatever, man. He's not around. Usually, uh, they drop like um, these. What do you call them? You know the little blood shits that you can use to evolve your weapon or upgrade them further. They dropped uh, basically the first tier of those. So, and once you get that, you're able to um, farm them here essentially. Yeah. All, right, all right. So this, they're here. This is what I call the feminists. This is this is this is the feminist rally. Uh, you know, you know, in Yonkers or like in, you know, at Columbus or anything like that. Uh, yeah. Who be this? Hey, come in! So here we go. These are... Sorry about that. Uh, sister came in, wanted to grab some clothes for uh, cause she's gonna go to work or something like that. So, right now, what we're doing is, we're talking about these feminists here. Because these these are the ones that, that you know, destroy the movements and the rights and uh, everything of everybody's. They are a blight on mankind. I chill. Feminists, I'm sorry. But don't, don't kill me. Don't flag my video. Don't... Don't send death threats to my fams. Fucks. <laughs> yeah, right, whatever. I'm not afraid of you fucks. Bring it on. I'm ripped, <laughs> as a how you call it, Ross would say. Dude, that that some. So I've been watching some game games recently because they've been making me laugh. Because they um, recently came out with uh, Mario Maker, which is the reason I started watching them again in the first because I I love Ross. I know I don't know why I like Ross so much. Uh, I know Ross is not really that interesting to a lot of people, but I think he's hilarious. I love his style, his demeanor, his trolling. It's it's all top tier, but whatever. He uh, Some of his lines that are my favorite is like, Come at me, bros. I'm ripped or something. That that, that just killed me every time I, I watched the video. So it's uh, that's kind of how I feel right now. Also, don't be an idiot like some of these people that die by falling into this hole. This is clearly a hole. Um, a lot of new players that I see just jump off thinking that like, oh, okay, this might lead to a secret. Or someone trolls and be like, yo, um, don't forget hidden path awaits you or whatever. Some some nonsense like that. And they just, oh, hidden path? Oh, goody. Thank you, new uh, old veteran players for introducing me, the new young and impressionable players, to something this juicy and great. And I'm just like, yo, really, bro? Yo, you, 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 got, you got schooled, man. Like, you're trusting people just got neutered, because, like, you, you mad dumb. So, I, I basically killed... What? Oh! Oh, the dog! Yo, who, 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 yo, what, what, yo, who you pushing? Who you pushing? Yo, wait a minute, time out. Oh, there you go. Bloodstone shards, they just dropped it. They're evidence.zips. 
No, no, no. C -c Calm it down. You with your little fucking Las Plagas bullshit. Get out of here with that. This, 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 this ain't gonna fly, my girl. Alright? This ain't gonna fly. <laughs> Speaking of flying, yo. Yo, we fly high. No lie. You know this. Ballin'. <laughs> Foreign run. <laughs> so I've been watching some Chad Warden. I'm about to die. Okay, he didn't. He did not kill me. Good shit, cause I was at like half health, man. I was about to die like a swing or two. Oh man, yo. All right, so 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 far, so average. You know, we're kind of making progress through here. There's an item back here. I don't want to miss it, cause uh, oh, that was actually down there instead. Oh yeah. All right, well, well bluestone. All right, man. Hey, hey man, ain't nothing great about it, baby. All right, we good, man. For the third time, let's come back up here. <laughs> and uh, we're going to do this all in one swing. We ain't going to die because it's a waste of our time. You know, it's it's that's how it is. This chick, despicable woman tries to ambush you, and I failed miserably at killing her. Um, but yeah, despicable woman right there. So don't fall for her lies. Don't fall for Ondor's lies. That kind of nonsense. Hey, yo, why do these crows be hitting mad hard? Yo, speaking of Crow, yo, I um, finished Persona 5 uh, the other day, so I really, really loved it. I thought it was a fantastic game. Obviously, I have my qualms with it, but overall, I thought it was a very pleasant experience, and uh, I can't say enough good things about it. Okay, come on. Y'all gonna have to cut this shit out. Mmm. 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 Who am I hitting? Poke! Yo, give him the poke. Mm. Call me Oscar the poker. Oh, yo, you you too? Yo, what the fuck, y'all beaky ass niggas? What, what, what y'all want? You want a reward for being an asshole? What the hell? Anyway, so right here, there's another despicable woman that like, tries to push you off. I just kind of hit her. All right, so uh, I almost failed that. Like, <laughs> like that would have been just terrible just demonstrably dude like it would have been just stupid um and there's a dude bros brosifs over here who just doesn't know his place so we just kind of like kill him real quick and yeah and then the this bitch dude, what the direct shot really did you have the timing of the gods or what there's another despicable woman that likes to chill right here and ambush you chill her chill to her all right, we good. Let's go grab these uh, vials right quicks. Uh, I think I should do a, a little segment of these videos where I show off where some of the uh, potential villains of the stage, right? Like the bell ring of women and all that, all that kind of stuff. So, Doggo tries to ambush you, but he ain't clever because we've seen his ways. You know? Uh, and then, yeah, we're basically set. Luckily, I'm doing this here before the Vicar because I think if you do this before Vicar Amelia... Then you don't get the fucking spawn, the, the little like dark being spawn. Um, I, I would show you what they look like, but they will actually check them out in a little bit. Like we will actually see them. Uh, here's another fucking despicable old nigga. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Um, yeah, um, the old lady or the old bell ring woman would actually be right here. So just bam, you know, just give them a little, a little pew, a little. Well, you know, one of those, so, you know, I'm saying, once, uh, once you find her, you know, you mess her up real good, you know, so, and that's all you gotta do. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm pretty dumb, because there was a little critter bug over here that I never, that I didn't get, because I'm, I'm a fucking moron. You know what, the reason why I didn't, I didn't, I never bought the, uh, crap, I never bought it, did I? Oh yeah, yeah. I gotta go buy at some point. All right, so there's a there's a bit of, there's a lamp you can get in this game, like a kind of like a mini uh, a mini lamp, a mini torch that you can wear at your side, and it's very useful because it illuminates your path and you know all that good stuff. There's another woman that likes to push you off right over here. What the? Yo, little bitch! Yo, yo, yo little bitch! So we can do this the easy way or we can do it the hard way. So I like doing it the easy way, not the hard way. But I'm gonna do it the hard way. 
I'm, 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 I'm about to do the hard way. The easy way, you drop down there, you run, you open the door. But I'm about, I'm about to do it the hard way. All right, come on, come on, Bricky. I'm surprised he doesn't throw a brick at you and just spawn another one from his ass. Yo, my man's. Yeah, I'm gonna swing, man. Swing, bad about a single swing, bad about a swing. Alright, so this is uh very simple stuff. I mean it's really just a chain of command kind of style of things. This doggo likes to come over here and do some some dirty biz on you. And so does this woman, but you know, I won't give them all one two buckle my shoe, yo, and you know, they won't even see it coming. You know, They'll never see you coming. Come on, come on, get away from the little corners, yo. These are my corners. So there's a despicable old lady that's over here. She's like just hiding there. So she tries to grab you, and if she grabs you, she'll like literally slice your throat. It's actually very vicious. It's not fun to uh, behold, um, and uh, it's quite it's quite evil, really. So I try not to let her catch me because she is quite a fucking vicious ass queen. Uh, this dude's a problem. I'm gonna. S I did not know he was that close. Uh, before I die, let me at least open this door. It's very, very simple to die here. These dogs back there, yo, they don't play games, man. They, they out to hunt. They out to eat some blood, dude. They, they out for it, man. All right, yo, get my health back and die. Okay, that, that kind of stings. If you start running at me, though, we're going to have some problems. Alright, this is bad. I can't... Oh! My mans. Yo, my, my mans. Yo, my, my mans. Okay, this is the last time you're hitting me. I swear to God. All right, you're done. You're done. You should have hit me. I say, I say, you lay your hand upon me one more time, and yo, may the Lord be my witness, I will smite your ass. <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't play that game, man. I, I don't, I don't, I don't play that game. I don't, I don't go that way, my man. You can't be touching me. You can't be touching me. Like that, anyway, so um. It's uh, very straightforward from here. This the this section here is, it's the boogeyman town. This is it right here. This 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 is the boogeyman village right here. Oh crap! I fucking just alerted like fucking six of these niggas at once. Yo, take these. Oh, take these rocks though. Hey 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 hey. He's like, yo, who are these niggas? Nah, nah, nah. I know how to avoid you guys. You guys suck. So, yeah. There's a lot of them. Once one catches wind of you, then, like, the rest of them, like, to... The, the rest of them want a little slice, dude. They want a slice of the pot. Oh! Like I said, dude. Like I said. One, once one catches wind of you, yo, the whole... The whole entourage want a slice. They, they, they want to slice that pie. That that fresh booty pie from, you know, from the, 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 the link. Yo, man. My boy Maxwell about to, about to get mauled by dogs. Nah, we can't have this. So this is a very special looking, um, I don't know, obelisk? I don't know what the hell this is. Some kind of structure, though. It looks like a, like those things you see in churches. Like the little top part that, uh. It goes like above the balcony area or something, but yeah, like they're pretty, uh, pretty cool. All right, come here, come here, kite boys. Nah, I just keep swinging. Whatever, you good? Oh, are you walking up to me? You about to die a most horrible death. Oh, yo, I was playing games with this man. I was playing games. I should have been playing no games. I should have just killed you. Like I got the first swing. I was like, you know what? 
I'm gonna just, I'm gonna make your pain a little agonizing. Yo, you, yo, you are. I'm, I'm gonna give you that. I'm gonna give you that. You, you got me. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> Not bad, yo. Yo, yo. Clap us. Not even bad. All right, let's let's keep it going though. I, this time we're gonna ignore the feminists because that's what we should do in real life. Don't give them any attention. Feminists are fucking scum of the earth. Yeah, you know how it is. You know, we, we, we keep it real on these streets. Oh, so now we unlock that shortcut. We get our sweet, sweet, sweet revenge on these motherfuckers. Alright. This time we're waiting. This guy, these guys, you gotta wait a long time for you swing. I mean, it's been a while. Like I said, I'm a little rusty. But, uh... My mans. Are, are those supposed to be godly swings? You are trash at this shit, sir. Alright. I was in the middle of healing. Yo, what what rudeness? Let me get up first. Yo, I cannot find the time in the swing. Because they have some fast attacks or they have some, some really slow ones. That, yo, I'm tight. Did you just, did you see it? Oh, that's hot. Yo, these enemies are something else. Yo, sorry guys, I'm mad rusty. I'm telling you, this, these are my jaws. I'm like, man, I'll make some excuses. Before, I would have just creamed this place. I'm a little out of practice. I ain't gonna lie, man. I, I don't think I've ever died to these guys before. Damn, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm getting small. I'm getting blown up. I'm a fraud. You know, in a way, this is kind of better because I think the way I played before, before the rust, I was too good. I had to be toned down. You know, like the game had to be toned down for. Yo, can you get the fuck off? I can't see where the hell I'm going. Jesus! A little cop, a little human decency. <laughs> Plocks? Oh. Nigga, if you, if you hit me with that bottle, I'm, I'm gonna make sure that shit. I'm gonna fit it up your ass. Alright, so wait. Wait like mad when you do when they, when they do that. First guy's first guy's a no-go. He's he sucks. I don't blink here. Look, look, look. What, what are you, how do you react to that? Look, and that shit's too fast. Look, 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 come on, man. I hit you with a full charge swing. You shouldn't be able to react to that. Man, shut your dumb fucking fat cunt ass up. So take a snooze with my mans. <laughs> All right, where's the where's the where's the villain that that took my soul? Or is the villain that took my soul from me? Oh god! All right, that's this is not a good uh, idea. All right, this is bad because okay, this I'm about to lose all my shit today, and this little fucking lunch right here like to shoot things. In fact, hold on a minute, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. I'm about to catch up by surprise! Yeah, what's up, little bitch? Do you, do you know I'm above you and shit? Alright. Uh, uh, I'm gonna need them here. Hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, can you even cross? Alright, no, that was a stupid question. Of course you could cross. Alright. Yo, little bitch. Yo, man. Oh, 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 there. 
Hey, yo, my mans. You know, I'm gonna embarrass you this time. Come on, but embarrass you. Come here. What the fucking rip out your guts, your intestines, your livers, everything, dog. I'm about to know what fucking food you had last night. <laughs> All right, come here. Grab this thick blood, thick cold blood four. And uh, you gotta be kind of careful here. There's a rune in this area, but you gotta be like extremely precise with how you walk. Um, and then yeah, you get the lake rune. You don't want to fall off there. Look at the holy shit! I'm retarded. Um. This is beautiful ass. Oh my god, it is so gorgeous. Gorgeous, my man. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous, Jordan. Damn. It, it's really nice to like, be able to take in the view and just. And, damn, look how coated in blood I am. Blood of my enemies. You could use this blood as red canvas paint, dude. Seriously. It's that. <laughs> it's that lively. Um, but yeah, um, later on, it actually does turn to nighttime after we beat Vicar. I'm going to spoil it over. But, uh,. Instead of this, you know, evening sky, it becomes night, and then the creepy crawlers come out to play. And uh, oh, well, I missed an item. I, no, I am pretty sure I got it. I'm pretty sure that I did get it. Okay, so, uh, all right, so I want to kill these guys, but I know this asshole's gonna come in. You see, look, I I, I know your style. You you don't have style. You don't have grace. You definitely have a funny face. Alright, so. Conquer this asshole. This guy's a big problem, so killing him is really nice. Now these little wench ass bitches can come over here and come come grab these, you know, come catch these hands essentially. You want to. I'll trade all day. I got more swings than you, bitch, and I'm faster. Alright, so. Now that we've basically covered that, we can go ahead and uh, grab the Spoils of War. Which is this nice chest with a nice blood tinge thingy. Uh, gemstone, that's what it's called. I, I never remember um, the names anymore, but yeah, Bloodstone Gem. Or gemstone, whatever. And uh, yeah, there's no, there's definitely no raging discrimination here. Look at this shit. Look, look, look at how horrifying this shit is. Look, look. What are they doing to people here, yo? This is some, this is some like OD shit. Look at what they did to this motherfucker. Look at this one hung upside down. God, easy, bro. Yo, you guys gotta, you guys gotta chill out, man. These, these raging feminists, man. See, if we don't be careful, we're gonna end up like this, ladies and gentlemen. Now is the time to strike. You want your brothers and sister hung like this for saying? No to calling a Trigley Puff a fucking Zit or Zed or whatever the fuck. Nah, we can't let this stand, ladies and gentlemen. I'm, I'm about to get flagged so hard. <laughs> I'm about to get flagged hella hard. Yo, if I get removed from YouTube, yo, you guys, y'all know where to find me, son. Like, yo, we, we the Amma Empire, we don't give up. We don't give up. Anyway, so this looks like a boss chamber, right? Look, let's, let's read this. Fear hunting. Uh, no, sir. That is stupid. So, once we step in here, we can, uh, kind of go back here. And, uh, which is, like, back in this area right here. And we can just kind of eviscerate her right there. Ooh, yeah, bitch. And we can kind of do it again. And then hit her some more. So, she already took, like, a good sizable 60%. And, uh, if you just, you know, kind of keep yourself in this area... And you can relax and uh, I, 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 I'm not trying to die right now. Hold on. D that is fucking stoops. Fucking stoops, I say. Yo, enough with that shit, man. You trying to piss me the fuck off? So we just keep an eye out for the fucking witch of Hem Hemwick, and uh, all we gotta do is just you know kind of hit him. Easy, easy. Let me squeeze me. But now this is not really the end of it because there's another witch that was actually well hidden this entire time. You can actually kind of get a hit off and then you can eviscerate them, which is kind of a smarter thing to do. Um, right, there you go. 
And they like to throw fucking blue shits at you, so you gotta be very, very careful. I thought I just saw one over here. Right? So that shit is bad because things start to come after you afterwards. I kind of have to lure it away from this area, but if I wait too long, she'll revive the other witch. So this is kind of a problem. So see how she's dead right there? Yeah, so she just revived her. Okay, you're a little, you're a little aggressive. I'm gonna have to ask you to calm your shit down. I'm gonna have to ask you to calm that shit down, my man. I think I, I think I heard it over here. Or, or not. Well, I don't have my headphones on, so my hearing is kind of gimped. It's a little gimped. But, it's okay. I like to double tap my, uh, dodges, which is kind of, kind of, uh, I think it works out extremely well. Okay, if I get cornered by these guys, I'm dead. Alright, that's... Kind of have to mash at that point, otherwise you're just gonna die. And, and, and you don't want to die. So before the other witch revives, the oh my god, that, did you see that fucking reaction time? All right, we're done here. You are done. That point of death. Do you see that shit? Godly. I mean, a lot of bloodshot. I love. Yuck. Disgusting, but um, yeah, we beat the boss until we beat the boss. I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> so, yeah, let's go down here, open this mysterious door. It's over there. Oh, shit, look at that. So, oh, I don't know. I don't like the way this, uh, this looks. I mean, yeah, I got a good idea here, folks. Oh, whoa, what the fuck? Nigga, the fuck is this shit? <laughs> oh. Oh, so when I first saw this, I was like, damn, who did you dirty? Someone made this nigga fucking piss his pants in blood. <laughs> so we got that a very important tool, the Rune Workshop tool. Hooray, huzzah. Actually, let's give it a shout for joy. Shout for joy, even though this man is dead in front of us. So yeah, someone did a crazy number on this man. Look at this guy. I don't know if he got fucking his nuts crunched or something. By like a, a, what do you call it, a fucking wrench or something? I don't know what the hell happened to this guy, but someone, someone did him dirty. If it was the witch, I'm glad to have killed her. Ain't no one treat my fellow man like this. No way, dude. Ain't, ain't, ain't gonna fly. Ain't gonna fly. Now I, now I think about it. <gasps> what the fuck? <gasps> Where am I? <gasps> All these bodies. <gasps> Help me. <gasps> Dennis. <gasps> <laughs> oh man, maybe someone will know the reference to that one, but uh, ah, oh, goodness, <laughs> ah, garbage day. All right, let's uh, let's try level up and let's call it an episode, call it an end to this episode. So, I don't know if I should be doing these hour long vids or, or what, but um, it's uh, oh. Actually, I'm gonna leave it at 29, I suppose. Yeah, get a little more vitality for my. You know what? You know what? Actually, no, no, no. I'm, I, I ain't gonna leave it. I'm gonna get that level 35. You feel me? I'm gonna get that level 35. You know what? In fact, I may not even end the episode right there. I might even try Vicar Amelia one last time. It feels what I'm saying. It feels what I'm saying. It feels what I'm saying. Alright, so let me think. I think I need to just do. Uh, one of these fucking Mountain Dews, and then Welcome. I think I'm good, right? I, talk to, I didn't quite get the number of Echoes. Oh, I'm at 7,000. I am. I do not know how to count. <laughs> I thought it was like 5k or something. Come on, many guys. Alright, so here we go. This should be good enough. This should be Welcome. fucking plenty. Have to level that up to get that skill to 30. So, skill at 30 right now is pretty good. We can kind of go on vitality for, for a small bit. Um, the reason why I'm doing this is for a build later. Like I said, uh, it requires me to use skill and a certain weapon. Um, 
On top of that, I believe that it is much better to um, get it early because then once you get the uh, the weapon that you're looking for, you can kind of max it out to like plus eight or plus nine, which I'll explain that later. And additionally, you can see your damage, you know, unfold right away. It's actually extremely nice. Um, I'm about to grab these, and uh, I will use a hunter's. That's not what it's called. Madman's knowledge. <laughs> so I'll grab that last one for the gas coin set. Uh, the reason I'm getting it now is because it has very good bolt resistance. It's actually good against the boss later on. Um, truth be told, the Henrik gear is my favorite outfit in this game. Like I actually really really enjoy one that you get in another area and it's kind of almost tied but i love the like mustardy like old western design of this so much that like i just i just stick to it from here on out and i normally don't like wearing helmets in games but this th i have to rock the complete set or something that kind of is complementary to the set i've never been a big fan of like um headgear because you know unless very very specific headgear like i um I like seeing my character in its full glory. I mean, you know, there are times where I do make exceptions, you know, obviously like Henrik's gear and stuff like that. But, um, you know, it, it just really depends, I think, because uh, I got to I gotta show off them features. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, if a girl looks pretty, are you, gonna, are you really going to hide her face? You know what I'm saying? I mean, if she's one of those reserve types, you know, that's fine. More power to you. You know what I'm saying? But, like, uh, if, if you try to flaunt your stuff, you ain't going to do it by hiding behind a mask. Me? Anyways, uh, let's stop talking about bullshit and uh, start actually fucking things up. Which we only have about 17 vials left to our name with three bullets left to our name. So we better make sure this shit counts. If not, I may have to do some excessive grinding. And uh, I won't show that off on screen. Of course, I might show you how to do it. Oh, I don't have any. You know what? We're, not, we're actually not going to summon Henry yet. Um, actually, we will because... Uh, I'd rather make this thing go smoother rather than more aggravating. So we're just going to summon Henrietta real quick, or Henrietta. And summon her and fight the boss. Hopefully Henrietta doesn't see no fucking assholes there and comes with me. Come on, Henrietta. Come on, Henrietta. So a bell, a bell ringing woman has appeared. I might as well go kill her. I don't know, because like... I don't want to get like invaded in the middle of this whole situation. Uh, it happens quite often in this game. You can get invaded very fast. In fact, right now I could probably probably get invaded by some dudes. And uh, that would be my least favorite thing. Also, she drops bullets, so. And she didn't drop it. Okay, so most of the times she drops bullets. She didn't happen to drop it this time around, so. Wow, you just really just hurt yourself like that? Just just, just to prove a point, you fucking dummy? I've never actually seen a computer do that before. Okay, uh, Henrietta, we're turning back. Get the fuck out of my way. Okay, come on, Henrietta. Henrietta, Henrietta, Henrietta. Alright, come on, baby. Let's go this way. We don't need to go that way. Why, 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 why do we need to go that way? We don't need to go that way. Let's kill this doggo. Alright, let's uh let's let's kinda go up here, Henrietta. Alright, we need to get through. We need to get through. And you need to you need to run with me. This way, Henrietta. Come on, baby. Uh, oh, oh, okay. No, no problems. Let us end triumphantly this episode. Yeah, screw the blood vials. That's all I really want. I just want blood vials in case Henrietta dies, because you know it would uh, it would really suck. Also, that weapon she has is the Kirk hammer. I don't know if I said it before, but I wanted to make a point of saying it, so I'm glad I remember. That's the Kirk hammer. It is a sword, as you can see here, that you can insert into that slot right there and then turn it into a basically a, a two-handed <laughs> weapon which is like a hammer and it, it does some pretty good damage i ain't gonna lie about that so dodge that 
Easy stuff. Try to hit the left arm, I think. I think if I untarget, it might be better. But untargeting, it's it's tough. Cause uh, all her fuzzy fuzzy shit gets in the way. about to grab. She, she can't grab NPCs or something? I think I'm supposed to hit her right arm or left. Right. I love that move by the way. So I'm gonna take this time to heal. Get some bigger like, damage to her. Okay. There we go. I made it in time. Got a nice little visceral. Um, I still don't know what causes that all the time. I think it's because I know there are guaranteed ways to get her to to drop down. Like if you attempt a certain like uh, style of play, and then like you do a certain number. Ooh, like you do a certain number of hits to a certain area, and then follow it up with a different... Oh, what the... That's, that move is crazy. Alright. Yes, baby. Come on. Oh, you still... You see that? Oh, yeah, she's also weak to fire. Remember what I said about Beast being weak to fire earlier? So... Fire works very well against this fight. Shit, I want to R2 and then do it. Shit. That's alright. So when when they scream around like that, just 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 smack them. Knock that shit off, little bitch. Bad. So far, so good. We're doing pretty good against it right now. Alright, let's see that up. That's the move that killed me last time. Now that we know that she can do that, we ain't gonna fall for that. All right, so this is a good chance to just smack her, but she likes to heal and shit. And I don't have any more of the, uh, what do you call it? All right, she's gonna heal again. Oh no, she surprised me. Usually she likes healing right there. If she goes far away from you, it's usually because she's planning on doing that. What the hell? I'm just about to die. You're dead. Just going for a grab. And you miss because you're an idiot. Get up. Dude! <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna explain what happened to me right there. I thought I was still on the floor. Because, you know, when you fall down, the camera goes down a little bit. So I was like, okay, get up. Because I went for the camera to go back up. I didn't know I was already up. Damn, that sucked. We almost had that shit. All right, well, that's fine. Next time on Let's Play Bloodborne, we get our revenge on Vicar Amelia. We're going to progress the story. I mean, we did pretty good. Our weapon does shit damage. 
which is why I uh, bring another summon. That way I don't have to take the brunt of all the damage and all that. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna end it right there. And uh, you know what? You know what, Vicar? Well play, well play, well play. You lucky I'm rusty, Vicar. Otherwise I'd destroy you. Yeah, that's gonna be my excuse this entire let's play. But anyway, it's a good thing because it makes things more interesting. I don't have to like power through it, all that stuff. But whatever. Um, I like it so far. Right now, I think this makes for better gameplay experience and all that and watching experience so shut up <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna end up so here um yeah hopefully you enjoyed it if you want to see more no you already know the i'm gonna say it you guys already know join the Amma empire if you're interested man otherwise i'll see you later peace out and keep it styling y'all